Hey there, Connor from Metabase here. I'm excited to show off some new features coming out in Metabase 51 around dashboards and visualizations. Metabase 51 is, is jam-packed. There's, there's a lot of goodness here um, from a new Databricks driver to drill through improvements to some new tools to help you tidy up your Metabase instance. Um, so tons of stuff, make sure you check out the release notes. But for the sake of this demo, I'll focus in on new improvements to dashboards and visualizations. Starting off with the beautiful sunburst chart you're looking at here. So now there's a nice way to visualize hierarchical data in Metabase. You can see here I'm looking at video games, specifically Pokemon games. I can easily see the relationship between the platform, the Metacritic score, and the date that it was released. So now you can add up to three different levels to visualize these type of hierarchical relationships using the new sunburst chart. We've also added more configurability options to pie charts in general. So if I go over here, I can easily drag to reorder things. So no more two, three, one. You can drag and order things in the order that you please. You can also easily rename things directly from Viz settings. And lastly, you can change the color kind of as you please right here as well. We've also added some new configurability around the percentages and labels. So I can specify the number of decimal places that I wanna use for percentages in the legend, um, or if I want to just kind of control the percentages and the labels, I can do that. So I can really kind of cater the Sunburst chart or the pie chart in general to exactly what I want to make for others to, to consume. More stuff on the Viz side, we've added nicer tools for consuming multiple series. So what that looks like exactly is if I go here and I have a chart with multiple series, I can easily click to kind of zoom in on just revenue here, or I can zoom in on just orders. I can say, okay, I just wanna look at doohickeys and gadgets. So I can easily kind of hone in on just these and maybe see the share um, of just these two products over time. You might also notice that tooltips look a little different. So we've given tooltips a makeover to show percentage change and breakdowns nicer. The behavior is gonna be a little nicer. And we've also added the ability to layer on more context for a specific data point. So what that looks like is if I come here and add a couple more metrics, maybe I wanna look at the maximum order and the number of orders. I can go into Viz settings under display and add these new additional tooltip metrics. Now, when I hover on a specific segment, I'll see that not only did doohickeys kind of encompass like this, this much revenue, you can also see the max order and the number of orders that happen. So you can tell a much richer story by layering on these additional metrics um, for a given data point. On the dashboard side, we're pretty excited about the new iframe dash cards. So, what I can do now is I can bring in external content into Metabase right next to where all of my other goodness is. So if I add a link or iframe, I can click iframe and maybe I want to pull in a Loom or Google Slides to contextualize and do a little bit of storytelling about my dashboard. Now I can have that right next to the content itself. On the kind of more workflow side, maybe I wanna bring in a Google Sheet or a Typeform survey or something like that to bring data entry right next to the reporting itself. So you can create tools there as well. Also, if you use a different tool for charts, we use Grafana for real-time data. You can also pull those charts into your Metabase dashboards right next to where everything else is. So this is pretty powerful. The possibilities are really endless. So let us know what you do with it. Um, we're curious to hear other use cases that maybe we haven't thought of. Last but not least, let's talk a little bit about getting your data out of Metabase. So now there's a new kind of revised download UI, as well as some new settings to control that you get the data back that you expect. So let's move my face. And if I go here and hit download full results, I'll get this option to keep this formatted, unformatted, pivoted, or unpivoted. So with pivot tables, you can now choose to keep the pivoting formatting. If you're in Excel, you'll get a native pivot. Um, right next to the kind of pivoted data in a separate tab. So a lot more control over getting back what you expect. So you can go to the spreadsheet tool of your choice and have fun there. 
that's it for dashboarding and visualization features in Metabase 51. There's tons of other goodness here. Um, definitely make sure you check out the release notes for more. But we're really excited about this. Give it a spin and let us know how it goes. Thanks.